Hello guys, hope you are well. Welcome to Life to Coding channel. Today I am going to show you one of my project that I recently built using Google's Media Pipe library. And the project is really related to hand gesture and hand gesture movement related things. So let's see what I have developed. So this is the project that I developed. Uh, so let's run it. So it's running based on Python and I'm just importing uh, Google's media file library. So it's using just only Google's media file library. And if I run it, so you can see that uh, it is uh, it has created the TensorFlow Lite. Uh, it has basically loaded that thing using CPU and it doesn't require a GPU and you can see the FPS seems like more than 20, uh, 20 frames per second as well so here you can see there are four options uh, uh, one is gesture, one, another one is sliding, then the another one is zooming and the other one is rotation so right now by default gesture and uh, gesture is unavailable. so what does it mean? it means that it means that basically uh, so you can see it is basically recognizing my hand gesture so if I do one two three four five this is another one this is another one this is another one this is the other one and this is fist this is thumbs up this is thumb down and this is thumb left so you can see it is really fast and you can you can detect any kind of gesture and everything see that so it is really fast and it, it doesn't have it doesn't lose the frames as well it, it basically try to track everything in real time so so this is the hand gesture thing now uh, what is sliding so if I click sliding so so I, for that basically I have to press one two three four uh, that that keys in my keyboard so right now I just press two so sliding is another so what does it mean so you can see Starting left, starting right, up and down, up, left, right, down, up. So you can see it can actually track my hand movements whether I'm doing it up, down, left, right. So it can actually detect all these things left, right, up, down. So this is sliding, and the other thing is that like the zooming. So what does it mean? So zooming, so you can see it is zooming in and it is zooming out. So it, it is basically tracking my hand and based on the uh, size of my hand, full hand, it is basically doing zooming in and zooming out. So it does it basically. So the first thing that the gesture one it was like static gestures and these are like dynamic gestures. So depending on your hand movements, it can actually detect what I am trying to do. So if I just add this option to like uh, zooming uh, if I use some sort of short keys and add this thing with that and it can actually zoom in and zoom out by different kind of pictures so I'll do that and do another project using that that option basically so but right now I'm just showing you how this library can be used to, to achieve such kind of options or such, such kind of gesture it can detect different kind of dynamic gestures and the other option is that like the rotation so you can see what does it mean so you can see it can actually detect the rotation on, of my hand as well so you can see you can see the angle rotated angle as well and so so you can see uh, yeah it can actually detect uh, the rotation of my hand as well so and right now I'm just detecting one hand and the, so the other hand will not be detected yes and so only one hand will be detected but there is option like you can uh, you can detect multiple hands at the same time as well but for my requirement i just enable only one hand so that it can actually if there are multiple hands it will not it will not detect that rather it will just detect my uh, right hand if i tell that detect both hands then it can actually detect uh, my both hands as well but for this uh, application, I just I just enable only one hand, and you can see that it's really fast. And if I just move it again, zoom in, so zoom in and zoom out, and uh, sliding again, left, right, up, down, and then gesture. 
a gesture. Four, five. So it can actually it can actually um, detect any kind of gesture depending on how you actually define the gesture. Um, so I, uh, right now I'm detecting around uh, 14 gestures. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven. 12 13 oh another one is okay i think yeah okay so 14 so right now it is it can actually detect 14 gestures uh, it has some issue with that but i think it's okay so you can see and so by this way you can actually use this software without if you don't have a gpu or something it can actually run on cpu as well and google's media pipe actually meant for uh, uh, mobile uh, browser as well as uh, desktop or PC apps so you can run any kind of uh, it, it you can run in multiple platforms basically so that's what I actually try to show you today and hopefully I will make some other tutorials so that you actually learn how to develop your own software like this and you can use this kind of technology to uh, do lots of things uh, and the it, it, the, the like possibilities are limitless I would say you can do different kind of things and because you can see if you think of that like uh, uh, you want to do some uh, uh, sign sign language recognition using this technology you can do that uh, if you try if you think like you want to control your mouse using that you can also do that you, if you want to do say suppose you want to double click single click and move your mouse cursor as well with this you can do that so this kind of technology is really cool and i will i will create uh, some tutorials on that as well how to how i actually did that and how you can actually uh, develop your own projects as well so just um, keep updated and i i will just follow my youtube channel i will post the tutorials pretty soon thank you that's what i actually want to show you if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and thank you have a good day bye Please don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Hope this helps. Thank you.